uh, hello everyone so, uh, my name is Malik and this is my final assignment video uh, which is a uh, this video uh, consists of two parts as the, the previous assignment so in the first part I will be explaining my gameplay in the game engine and uh, in the second part I will be uh, that video will be the mobile gameplay video so basically the app is already made it's a, a build completed uh, of the Android app so the second part video will be the gameplay on the mobile device so here we begin so my game has only one level so uh, in the main menu screen has uh, only the loading bar and the currency manager as a singleton class for example if I play the video if I sorry if I play the uh, game so you can see uh, audio manager and currency manager uh, gets under the as a singleton object in the game so if I could uh, here I am using the device simulator component in from the unity registry uh, that helps to understand uh, this uh, this is good uh, uh, this simulator is uh, very good for the mobile design for example if I, if I don't use it some of the my UI icons will not be placed correctly so it helps me to use all the mobile devices for example I have even installed all of the devices and I can test on all the devices for example if I select uh, uh, iPhone right now I put 12 Pro Max for example if I go 13 Pro Max you can see the UI changes and, and all the other mobile icons as well so for the uh, settings panel I have made several changes like the privacy view privacy and reset game button and once the user click on the reset button uh, right now I'm not gonna click it because I already have six diamond a uh, gold uh, that I will be showing a next feature in the game but whenever you click on this one the it will be reset the value will be reset to the zero if uh, the user click on the feedback you can see my screen it is taking me to the Google Play Store so for example if I publish my game on the Google Play Store so whenever I publish my game on the Google Play Store it will take me to exactly I, I will change the link to the uh, app the feedback for for example a user can give feedback to my app right away there so even uh, I have think uh, I have already uh, analyzed I will maybe later on like uh, if I release this game on the Google Play Store I will add an option of uh, like uh, uh, get free 50 coins or maybe 50 diamonds if you just give feedback so for example if some of the time I need more feedback from on my app on the Play Store I will use this strategy to give free rewards to the players and uh, I will this will push all of my user to go and just keep rating and when the user open this link our reward will be added to the player's account after 5 seconds or 10 seconds maybe by using the invoke method so uh, let me begin the game so right now we are in the level 2 I'm using the text boxes uh, and the text box is basically using the loops to it will be using character by character loop so I have already mentioned as in my previous video dialog box here yeah. so I already I already have decreased because uh, in my recent video I analyzed like uh, uh, these uh, text element was a six this text element was six so right now I switched it back to the four important one so right now my player is getting damage from the yeah it's getting health damage from the spider uh, so once the user click continue continue and once it's played completely four good luck and then finish so yeah, uh, let me just kill the spider before it hits me. Yeah. Right now I'm testing on the PC. That's why I'm having some testing. Yeah. So now it's dead. So this is my health pack. I'm using the random instantiating the random game objects so it's almost the game is same only a couple of changes has been made from my previous submitted video uh, the one of the most interesting thing I have implemented is if you can see uh, this one my grenade so you have a one icon here so uh, as a default game begins every time the game begins the user will have three uh, grenades for example if I use this grenade if I click it so you can see the grenade has been instantiated and now it's played so the player is not getting any damage from the grenade but maybe I'm planning to later on uh, I will make a function where the player will get some damage as well from the grenade 
and uh, once the player has thrown the grenade the player has to run away from the grenade as well it's not only for the spiders but the player has to save himself from the grenade explosion as well so yeah so for example now it's uh, the value is now zero i cannot instantiate more grenades now i have to buy more grenades how if i click onto this grenade a new panel will be activated by grenades with the gold uh, this one i have created this panel grenade purchase panel yes so this panel has a lot of stuff here ongoing like the plus minus buttons the uh, this uh, gold amount and the current uh, how many grenade so if if i click on one it will ask me the two gold that's why i was not resetting the game because i have to use here uh, so now two diamonds if i click three as much as i'm selecting more basically uh, for uh, two golds i'm giving one the player can buy one grenade for the two golds so if I click 0, 0, 0, it will not go anywhere be, be, uh, below 0. So for example, uh, um, uh, for example, I have uh, 6 gold and if I click on 2 uh, and it asks 6 uh, grenade and uh, I ask for the 12 diamonds. If I click confirm, so it will not be giving me and uh, uh, it will show me you don't have enough gold. But I'm planning to add uh, one video function like uh, right now, uh, I, I can ask the user to watch a video add and uh, get free 10 golds so yeah so uh, but i have not implemented for the submission of my this assignment but later on when i publish my game on play store then i will test this feature on my next build and uh, so it will uh, it will just give a choice to my user either the user will buy the gold in my game or the you can watch a, either the user can watch a video to get some extra gold so yeah so if i click on the one it will ask me for the two gold if i click confirm you can see that the value has been dropped to the four and i have one more grenade so let me use this grenade so this grenade has been thrown right away like it's again switched to the zero so if i click again let me buy two this time my value the, now the gold value is set to zero and let me kill the spider with the grenade Some of the spiders are having issues with the maybe rigid bodies because uh, uh, like I have total around 60 spiders and couple of the spiders uh, the prefabs are not properly like uh, have some issues glitch so basically uh, I will go through this one but I'm making this one I'm not fixing that one because I want my game to be not in a fixed loop I want the players to be everything to be unpredicted for the player it's not like the player has thrown the grenade and the game is uh, and every spider is dead no the player still has to kill some of the spiders with the sword as well so yeah so this is for the gameplay so i will be making another video that will be the second part of the video and i will submission uh, my submit with that video submission will be uh, as the second part of the video on the game mobile testing so as for the programming of this one uh, grenade throw i have a uh, included the grenade throw script in my level one let me go in my level one canvas this one grenade throw script this has all the purchase count text uh, heading text uh, success icon success icon is whenever any purchase is successful then it will be playing this throw ports and grenade prefab this one is the location of the prefab so yeah every time the game begins the user will have three grenades and uh, these are all the methods I'm using for this uh, game. So this one, if the purchase is successful, if it's unsuccessful, even if it if it's unsuccessful, just uh, deactivate the panel after two seconds. And uh, and whenever the grenade panel is not active in hierarchy, just set the values of uh, the prices and the grenade count set to zero. And once again, if I click again to buy more again, then it will be the new value will be as per my choices if i select two the value will be four gold value will be four so that's pretty much it for the grenade throw and uh, yeah and all the bugs has been fixed in the game like in the previous video i mentioned three bugs uh, about the uh, some of the sword locations and some of the grenade uh, sfx was not really was not perfect but right now all the bugs has been fixed in the game and right now i haven't found any logical bugs in the game but maybe during the initial testing we could see some of the uh, maybe rarely we can see some of the bugs but uh, uh, from my side we, uh, there is no currently any no syntax error and no logical error in the game 
So the, as for the level design, I have made uh, some changes to this level design. If I can show you from the top. So I have uh, included this one. This looks like the like the way going to the forest, and I have added some of the uh, storm uh, storm uh, effect in the game in this graveyard area. So that's pretty much it for this game uh, from the PC, like the from the game engine. Yeah, so this is all the top here. So all the logics are working completely fine. And uh, in the next uh, video, and uh, that video will be about the uh, gameplay on my Android mobile phone. So, so this basically it's a success build. And uh, if I can show you one more last thing. So uh, in in my previous, uh, I have recently made a build app bundle Google Play, and I will be planning to release my initial test release on the Google Play Store. As for the texture compression, I'm using ASTC. So ASTC is basically it's ideal for the Android devices. But as for my research, I was doing some research and I found out an article like that using ASTC on a mobile it helps to reduce the memory usage, and still it gives like good effects. And as for your feedback, I have changed my all the texture sizes to the good value like 248. Yeah. As for the builds of the game, if I can show you the builds, yeah. So Android builds. So this is the Google Play release build I have made recently. I haven't published it anywhere, but I just have finished recently. And uh, the third build is. Uh, uh, I have to make my fourth build because recently I have made changes to this uh, by adding this new grenade feature, the grenade purchase panel. So I will be making my next uh, fourth release. So this is not and comes under my development build. Yeah. Oh, I have to make some changes to the game password because uh, in my recent uh, build uh, Google Play, I have made uh, I have uh, added a password in the game. So basically, so yeah, so I will be making some changes to the password again, and uh, I will be updating my app in mobile, and then I will submit another video. Uh, that video will be the part two of this game. Thank you.